was a really tough game. Uh, we know they are a, a physical team, and uh, from the first minute we understand that in the game that they press too high, they fight in each ball. We wait a tough game again uh, on Thursday. Uh, we know them better because we already played one game, so uh, it's 90 minutes and we hope that our team will be good and take this, this qualification for the next round. Until now, yes, I'm happy with me, I'm happy with the team because I think we, each game we improve ourselves and that's the most important thing. Uh, and I hope in the next game we will have the, this improvement in, in each game. Everybody will have a chance to play it from the team, so that's why we're a good team, because we have not only 11 players, but we have like 15 or 20 players uh, ready to play. Uh, first of all, uh, when Mr. Carillo came, I changed position, and that's very important for me, because now I feel more free in the field. I'm not playing that, uh, that back in order to defend, I can attack also. And that's most important for me because, as I said before, I feel free in the game. And maybe this is one of the reasons that I have another, uh, a better, uh, I have better games uh, in this way. The good thing is that uh, we're almost the same team. Uh, except two or three guys knew that they have bring something new in the team. We are the same team. We know very good each other. We know the coach, the philosophy of the coach. And uh, for me, this is the, the most important thing. After, it's normal, as I said before, we improve ourselves in every, in every game. And I hope to the next games will be much better also. Of course, when you win, uh, the, the, the atmosphere is always good, but the real team shows when, when the results are not so good, then you have to show that you are a really good and strong team. Uh, I hope never arrive uh, negative results, but football is like this. One day we'll arrive. We have to be ready uh, and strong to have the same, to do the same things as always. And and then good results will come also. The best moment I think was uh, the victory in Zagreb last year. Uh, maybe it's not that difficult to choose this game. Uh, I, thought, I think we had a great game also against uh, Rijeka here, but the result was 1-1. But if I have to choose one game, the game is against Zagreb because I know uh, how difficult the game is. I know that it's the biggest derby in, in this country. And uh, winning there is always, is always nice. About leaving a split, it's not that difficult because it's almost the same like Greece. The weather, the people. The only difference is uh, the language, and that's all. Uh, I live like I'm home. Uh, honestly, it's the only difference is the language. About football, even football is not that different. Uh, the difference uh, for me is that if here there are three uh, really good teams, uh, in Greece there are like five or six, that's uh, the only difference. Yeah, I learned some words, but honestly, it's the most <laughs> difficult language for me. I went to Italy and after three months I was speaking in Italy. I can understand Spanish, I can understand, I can speak English, but Croatian is really difficult. I'm trying every day to learn something, but you know, some words that it's like nothing. So the classic words that everybody knows, everybody, every stranger, that's all. For me, living in Split is, uh, you have everyday touch with fans, so it's not something uh, special to go in the street and see someone say hi to you or well done or do something better. It's something usually uh, here. 
not only for me, for every player of Split, uh, of Hajduk. But if I have to remember uh, something really good for me, it's uh, last year after the game against Maccabi, when we lost the qualification in penalties, the whole stadium was there to applause and everything. And that was for me the best moment uh, of our fans because they saw that they, they hurt and they, they had it big. I'm not done, I'm not done for sure. Uh, but now I slowed down a little bit my rhythm again with tattoos. When I was young, I was going to do everyday new tattoo, but now I'm a little bit uh, calm about this. But there is always something new to do, and I think I will find something new to do. 